फिजियोस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर चैनल फिजियो विद्यापीठ वी आर बैक विद अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन अल्ट्रासाउंड नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट ई आर ए कपलिंग मीडिया हीटिंग इन टिश्यू ड्यू टू अल्ट्रासाउंड एंड लास्ट अबाउट द मोड ऑफ अल्ट्रासाउंड ओके सो माई नेम इज विजय कुमार एंड लेट्स जस्ट फिनिश द पार्ट ई आर ए इट इज एक्सपेंडेड एज इफेक्टिव रेडिएशन एरिया इट इज डिफाइंड एज द एरिया फ्रॉम विच द अल्ट्रासाउंड इज रेडिएटेड एंड ई आर ए इज ऑलवेज लेस देन द एरिया ऑफ ट्रांसड्यूसर है सो यू मस्ट रिमेम्बर द डे आई एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द नियर फील्ड लेट एस से दिस इज द हेड ऑफ अवर अल्ट्रासाउंड मोडेलिटी एंड इट इज हैविंग दिस डायामीटर डी सो इट्स रेडियस विल बी आर एंड यू विल राइट नियर फील्ड यू विल राइट नियर फील्ड इज इक्वल टू आर स्क्वेर अपॉन वेव लेंथ और लेफ द एंड आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दैट दिस नियर फील्ड विल बी लेस देन आर स्क्वेयर अपॉन लेफ द वाई बिकॉज द रेडियस विच वी आर यूसिंग फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ नियर फील्ड is the actual radius of transducer head but the radius of radiation of ultrasound is less so i will mark this radius r dash let us suppose that from this radius the emission is occurring so the formula will be written as r dash square R dash square upon wavelength. Okay, so this was the previous part. So now to calculate, you will again use this radius. Okay, that is the actual radius. So you will write that pi r square is equal to effective radiation area. So your answer must be less than the actual actual area from which radiation is occurring. Why? Because the radiation is not occurring from the whole circle from the whole radius okay so if is this is the total head circumference the this inner circle is the only part from where the ultrasound wave is coming so definitely era will be less than pi r square okay why because the radius of emission is less than the actual radius of transducer head what you can calculate by the measuring scale it is the actual radius na you cannot find the value of the radius from which the radiation is occurring so you will calculate by calculating the actual radius of transducer head and you will just write that the actual radiation area or the actual near field is slightly less that is why here less than sign was used and here also i am using the sign less than next is coupling media so to transmit the ultrasound we use a use a coupling media which is called couplet to increase the transmission so, and we do not use air why because in air there are a lot of particles due to which reflection of wave occur and if that reflected wave is again going back toward the ultrasound head it will damage our modality by damaging our crystal okay so we use the coupling media and properties of that coupling media or couplet is high transmissivity and low acoustic impedance and this is understood because i have explained that acoustic impedance is inversely proportional to transmission okay inversely proportional to transmission then its viscosity must be high chemically inactive and hypoallergic this is basic only then heating in tissue due to ultrasound again it is very simple for example you are using uh, first of all you need to understand that ultrasound give heating effect okay ultrasound give heating effect that is the thermal effect now you are applying the ultrasound on a vascular tissue for example our bicep muscle you are doing ultrasound here and this is my muscle having a lot of blood supply so when you are 
applying ultrasound on vascular tissue which having high blood supply it will dissipate the heat so heat from tear will be dissipate dissipated due to the blood flow so if i am applying ultrasound here blood will heat and blood will move here and there and dissipate the heat so the heating will not occur as high at the bicep due to which temperature rise decrease and its example is muscle and there is no burn okay no burn but if you are applying it on a non vascular tissue where blood supply is low dispersion is low temperature will increase rapidly example tendon cartilage and ligament and here burn can occur burn can occur as i have explained in the shear waves shear waves ke chalte kya ho raha tha periosteal pain due to periosteal burn so here also if the tissue is non vascularized burn can occur okay next is the mode of ultrasound first is continuous ultrasound second is pulsed ultrasound so continuous ultrasound mein kya hai कंटिन्यूस डिलीवरी ऑफ अल्ट्रासाउंड थ्रू आउट द टाइम पीरियड यहां पर जो अल्ट्रासाउंड की वेव है इट इज कमिंग कंटिन्यूसली एंड इन पल्स मोड द अल्ट्रासाउंड वेव इज कमिंग फॉर सम टाइम देन इट इज नॉट कमिंग अगेन कमिंग देन नॉट कमिंग ओके इट इज द पल्स्ड मोड एंड इन पल्स अल्ट्रासाउंड यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट इज मार्क स्पेस रेशियो एंड सेकेंड इज ड्यूटी साइकिल वट इज मार्क स्पेस रेशियो it is the ratio of pulse time upon pulse interval pulse time kya hai the time for which ultrasound pulse is coming pulse interval the time for which the ultrasound wave is not coming so coming divided by not coming which means the time for which ultrasound wave is coming divided by the time for which ultrasound wave is not coming is called mark space ratio why duty cycle kya hai it is the ratio of pulse time divided by pulse period aur pulse period mein kya hai dono cheeze pulse time and pulse period pulse interval dono cheeze pulse time and pulse interval dono cheeze aa jayegi yani ki niche jo hai wo total period likh raha hai which is the pulse period okay so this is the mark space ratio and this is duty cycle and duty cycle is given in percentage that is into 100 so mark space ratio it is the ratio between on and off time so pulse time is on while pulse interval is off which means the period for which wave is not coming while in duty cycle it is the ratio of pulse time to pulse period and what is pulse period pulse time plus pulse interval given in percentage so you need to multiply it by 100 next last part is effect of pulsing which is very important to understand okay now to understand about the effect of pulsing we will take an example let us say the mark space ratio is given which is one ratio 4 and mark space ratio ka formula kya hai pulse time upon pulse interval so the pulse time is one and pulse interval is 4 can we calculate the duty cycle tell me so in duty cycle it is pulse time 1 divided by pulse period which is equal to pulse time plus pulse interval 1 plus 4 5 in 200 which will be 20 percent okay now if i am using here intensity x i am using intensity x here and if i am using another machine another ultrasound modality which is having intensity x intensity x and here the energy delivered is e but here energy deliver will be e by 5 e by 5 okay why because here the duty cycle is just 20% okay here duty cycle is 20% but here there is a continuous delivery so intensity is same this intensity is same in both the case but the ultrasound energy delivery is very less in case of pulsed ultrasound now if we want to give 
here give the same energy e in the pulse mode what we can do we can either increase the intensity by 5 time or increase the time by 5 time so to make the energy also same we can increase the time or intensity into 5 time okay into 5 time let us understand it again mark space ratio pata tha duty cycle nikala 20% duty cycle kya tha pulse time upon pulse period so pulse time kya tha kitne time ke liye aa raha hai divided by pulse period that is total time which was into 100 and it came about 20% so 20% if we divide it by uh, divided by 100 okay it will come about 5 so let us assume that here the intensity was x and if i am using another modality at continuous mode at same intensity and here energy e will be given but here energy e is e by 5 because duty cycle is 20% duty cycle is 20% you can understand if the total energy is 100 so i can write it as e upon 5 that is why i have written here e upon 5 i am taking 100 as e क्योंकि 100 जो है वो टोटल एनर्जी है ना यहां पर तो कोई ब्रेक नहीं था देर वॉज अ कंटिन्यूस डिलीवरी यहां पर क्या था कंटिन्यूस डिलीवरी ऑफ अल्ट्रासाउंड सो यहां पर मैंने ई e लिया बट यहां पर अगर मैं इस ई e को 100 मांगू समझो ना ये चीज इफ इट इज रिटर्न एज 100 सो वेन आई विल बी कैलकुलेटिंग दिस आई कैन पुट 100 एज ई इट विल कम अबाउट ई अपॉन फाइव सो यू कैन सी फॉर द सेम इंटेंसिटी यहां पर एनर्जी कितनी कम डिलीवर हुई है टिश्यूज को सो so, हम क्या सोचेंगे कि अगर हमें यहां पर भी इतना हंड्रेड एनर्जी डिलीवर करना है वट वी कैन डू वी कैन इधर इंक्रीज टाइम और इंटेंसिटी बाय फाइव टाइम पांच गुना ज्यादा इंटेंसिटी या टाइम वी कैन यूज सो वट इज द बेनिफिट वी कैन यूज द हाइयर इंटेंसिटी with the safer in a safer method so high intensity can be easily applied in the in the pulsed ultrasound so here 5x intensity will be used to give energy e so you can see high intensities can be given safely and if we give this in the continuous mode it will having it will be having a very harmful effect on our tissues so this was about the effect of pulse mode okay so let me explain you it once more okay so that you have a good visualization of this thing mode has become blue see example another example mark space ratio is 1 ratio 10 वन रेशो टेन सो पल्स टाइम विल बी वन एंड पल्स इंटरवल विल बी टेन ओके वन रेशो नाइन ओके वन रेशो नाइन वी आर एक्सो वन रेशो नाइन वन रेशो नाइन सो कैन वी कैलकुलेट ड्यूटी साइकिल ये वन अपॉन टेन इन टू हंड्रेड ओके नाउ आई एम लिविंग इट हेयर ओनली एंड इफ हेयर द इंटेंसिटी इज एक्स in pulse mode and now we are having another modality whose intensity is again at x which is same and here energy e is equal to e which is taken as 100 and if we replace this 100 as e it will become e upon 10 so here the energy given at this intensity is 10 time less as compared to this so intensity is same but you can see the energy delivery which is very less so to deliver this and uh, so to increase this energy from e by 10 to 10 200 okay from e by 10 to 100 what we can do we can increase the intensity or increase the time by 10 times that is what i am explaining that we can use higher intensity in a safer manner okay so this was about today's lecture in our next lecture we will be moving toward the further parts that is physiological effect then therapeutic effect 
then contraindication, then dosage. Okay, so it is a bit larger topic, but believe me, if you understand the whole things, do not skip this mathematical part because this is going to be acting act as a building block for you to use this modality efficiently. Okay, because accurate dosage gives us the accurate results. Okay, so till then you keep on studying. Thank you to one and all.